let's start and break it down then. So, uh, this game, in my opinion, was definitely a gem that I didn't quite see. Uh, there is, to think that my first playthrough, it was just under, um, 20 hours. It was really good feel. It gave you a big ambiance. It were very much reminded, even though this game came out, I'm sure this came out before Silent Hill 4 The Room. And in that game, like, you're in a base spot. But then over time, you get things, unlock things, and allows you to progress further in the game, or things happen in your room. But instead, here, it's the entire mansion. Um... I can also say, yeah, I don't know if this game came out the same time as Assassin's Creed. I was never a really big Assassin's Creed fan. But the Assassin's Creed type games, uh, it could definitely, you know, where you play through multiple different characters and different arcs and things like that. So that was also really cool. Um, the combat was good. The fluidity of the movement and the actions. I did feel that they give you a crap ton of different spells to use, even though I never use them. But hey, it's, it's still there. Um, <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but like I said, in the end, I mainly used, what, like, six spells. The one boss you fight with the, uh, with a war reporter, the war journalist, man, that, that one was probably the, uh, uh, hardest boss fight. If I didn't have some good old front seat gaming, I probably wouldn't have beaten that one on the first go around. I almost lost and died, but then... I sat there on the edge of my life just beating it. That was that was really cool. That one was a timing based boss. That was that's very unique. You don't get that many timing based bosses nowadays. Nowadays you just usually open fire and kill it until it's dead, or there's a cutscene and you gotta shoot it when it's not on the cutscene. Ah, uh, you know, gaming has changed quite a bit. This 18 year old game. It taught me some stuff. Um I would definitely say probably my favorite ones to play in this game were probably playing as Kareem. That guy was a beast. The dual fucking, like, was it Talwars? Dude, that guy was beast. And, uh, sadly his, um, his goal wasn't the best goal to have. Because, you know, I mean, sad story for her, but, like, you know, hey, you know. What are you gonna do? What, what happened uh, to you? Whoa. But, yeah, aside from that, which is solid overall in general, um, I definitely enjoyed also uh, playing as Michael. That was probably the best part in the whole game. Should Mike collect the weapons? Y E S. Want some punk? Mike gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you. Mike's gonna give it. To I mean, the ending is okay, pretty cool, but I totally missed out on certain one thing in Kareem section, speaking of that, so the Kareem section that I missed directly affected the Michael section, because I would have had the three praying, um, uh, what is it, statues, but instead I've missed one because I, I skipped that ladder. If I just didn't skip that ladder, I would have got everything on the first, first go around, but I never got, you know, after I looked up what I needed to do, I then saw that I, I missed a crucial thing that would have gotten me like a better Gladius to help in that end boss fight. So instead of me having to constantly re-up and re-enchant my weapon, I guess that super rare enhanced Gladius has like all the elements on it. It's probably like a purple one. So the purple one I think can do all damage. But yeah, that that was a overall good game. The, the mind games it plays with you, really good. Oh. Uh. Uh, I just, I, uh, what the fuck is happening? This isn't really happening. What the fuck just happened? Oh, God. Hey, hey, stop that. Stop, stop. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking game. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, for a second there I thought my game was fucking up, but <laughs> it's my sanity. <laughs> also the overall um who is it? 
the voice cast, I mean, I don't know if you guys know, but that entire voice cast, David Hayter was in this game, but he's just a regular, like, Roman soldiers and crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, overall, my, my opinion on it, especially even though it took me a, a week to finish it, you know, after after getting the, the biggest part, because I only play this on my two days off. Um, yeah, I, I felt it was solid. I felt it was great. Just cool stuff overall. And sad to say that they don't make games like this anymore. So that's a real sad thing. <sighs> yeah, guys, I enjoyed it. So that's my quick little review on that one there, guys. I will try and get this one up eventually, as well as my other reviews. I need to fully edit all those. <laughs> yeah, hand-holding seems to be the biggest thing in this game. It's like, I mean, hell, even, you know, uh, Roku was even telling me. He was saying, like, you know, game FAQs, you know? <laughs> That's something people have to do all the time now. It's just like there's like a little icon that pops up in the top left or top right of the screen says, hey, this is where you need to go. This is what you got to do. Oh, man. So weird. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, uh, my recommendation is, yeah, give it a shot. See what you think. Um, it's definitely, you know, I'm playing all these games that were made almost 20 years ago. They are... If you want to know what game, what made gaming great and what made gaming just in general and an overall thing that people like to, like now and play now, these are the type of games that influenced everybody that plays games nowadays. So, yeah, I'd, I'd give it, yeah, i give it a, a 9 out of 10 as well. I can't say it's exactly perfect, but it's pretty damn close to perfect, you know, because honestly, I don't think there's too many perfect games out there. So, yeah. But all right, guys, that's going to end my review. Uh, let me guys know what you think about it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys out there. Later. She's dead. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, the battle is won. Huh? Oh, fuck you, game. <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!